Okay, so today we're going to learn about um, linear word problems. So these linear system word problems. And the nice part about these things is we get to use the same methods that we've been using, such as like graphing, substitution, and elimination. And the only thing that's new is that we have to set these things up. So, we're going to have to see how to set these things up. Now, the first thing that I like to do is I like to get my variables. Because if you don't know what you're trying to find, you're not going to be able to find it. So, the first thing we do is read through the problem, figure out what we're looking for. So, it says, find the values of the two numbers if their sum is 12 and their difference is 4. So, what we're looking for is two numbers. I'm just going to call these two numbers x and y. And let's let x be the first number. And y be the second number. Now what we could do is we could just try to find different combos that would work. Like maybe I'd start out with 10 and 2. Because 10 plus 2 equals 12. But... 10 minus 2 only equals 8. And I could try some other numbers like maybe 9 and 3. Well, 9 plus 3 equals 12, but 9 minus 3 equals 6. So we could see how this could take a while. Because I would have to try every number that added up to 12, and there's a lot of them. So, here's kind of a better way to think about it. Well, if x is my first number and y is my second number, we want the two numbers when we add them together to give me 12. So I want x plus y to equal 12. I would also like when I subtract these two numbers or x minus y to equal 4. Well, when I look at this, this looks like elimination. And the nicer part about this is, if you look right here and right here, the y's, if I added them together right now, would cancel. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to add these two things together. I'll get 2x. The y's will cancel. And I'll have 12 plus 4 will give me 16. Then I can divide by 2, divide by 2. I can get x to equal 8. So my first number equals 8. Well, if my first number equals 8, my second number has to equal 4, because 8 plus 4 will equal 12. And then I can recheck this and do 8 minus 4, and that will equal 4. So these are the two correct numbers. Let's try another example. Okay. Again, our first thing is going to be find our two variables. So I'm going to make, again, I'm going to say x and y. And we're going to kind of read through and see if we can find them. In a paint factory, an old conveyor line has filled 12 barrels of paint and is filling more at a rate of 6 barrels per minute. A worker just switched on a new line that can fill 12 barrels per minute. In a while, the two lines will have filled an equal number of barrels. How many barrels will each line fill, and how long will it take? So let's make x the time it will take. And let's make y the number of barrels, because those are the two things that I'm looking for, is time and barrels. And let's see if we can set up some equations from what they've given me. So they said in, a factor, in an old factory conveyor line has filled 12 barrels. So that's already happened. And they're filling more at a rate of 6 barrels per minute. So every minute, they're filling more barrels. So if we take 6 and times it by our number of minutes, that should show us six barrels per minute. Because for every minute, I get six barrels. 
I already have 12, and if we want to know the total number of barrels, we would add that together. So that should equal the total number of barrels that I wanted. Okay. Let's read the other one. A new line that they sw just switched to, so they don't have any barrels, will fill 12 barrels per minute. That's going to equal the total number of barrels for that line. And they want to know when the two lines will be equal. Well, this to me kind of looks like a substitution problem. Because we don't have any fractions, and we have a y solved for. So I'm going to take this and replace it with that y down there. And I'm going to have 6m plus 12 equals 12m. I'll subtract 6m. So the m's are on the same side. And I'll get m, 6m equals 12. Well, that means my number of minutes should equal 2. So my time is 2. Well, if we know this is 2 minutes, and this fills 12 barrels per minute, we know that that's going to be a total of 24 barrels. Let's try one more. Again. We're going to have this, uh, a word problem, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find its x and y. So when I read this, the school that Stefan goes to is selling tickets to a choral performance. On the first day of the ticket sale, the school sold 30 senior citizen tickets and one child ticket for a total of $38. The school took in $52 on the second day by selling three senior, sinister, uh, senior citizen tickets and two child tickets. Find the price of the senior citizen's tickets and the child's ticket. So we want to know X is our senior citizen ticket price. And this is the child's price. Let's see if we can set some equations up with it. Well, they said they sold three senior citizen's tickets. So if I take three and times it by the cost of my senior citizen's tickets, that would be how much money they made off the senior citizen's tickets. And they sold one child's ticket. So if I take one and times it by the, the child's ticket value, and we add those two costs together, that should equal the total cost that they made that day, which would be 38. We can do that for the second equation. This time they told me my total cost first, which is $52. And if we take our senior citizen tickets, times that by 3, and our child tickets, which is 2, and add them together, we should get that total value. Well, this again looks like elimination because both the x and y are on the same sides. And the nice part for us is the x's are the same. So if I just go down here and make this one negative, it's going to be really easy to add together and cancel. Well, 3 and negative 3 will cancel. 1 and negative 2 will give me negative 1y. And then 38 minus 52. Give me a 14. But since this is a positive and that's a negative, this should be more negative at the end. Because when we're subtracting, I don't have enough to completely take away from this. Divide this by 1, divide this by 1. And I would find that my, my child tickets are $14. Of my child's tickets are $14, let's plug this in to find. So 3x plus 14 should equal 38. Subtract 14, subtract 14. Of 3x equals 24, which means this will be 8. So that's how we solve these word problems. First, we need to find what our variables are. And after we find what our variables are, we can kind of set up the problem. Try these.